Welcome back guys and thank you so much for joining me today for this video and uh, I wanted to show you how I built this steam engine out of some PVC pipes, a coat hanger and some good old plywood. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. This is a steam engine and it won't actually run on steam and here are two reasons why. First of all, steam is really hot and it can burn the crap out of you if you're not careful. And second, steam condenses to form water and if water gets into the engine, it's not going to run. So, for this to function properly and for us to stay safe, we are going to run it off of compressed air. And here's the setup I have today. Under my table is a 15 gallon water heater tank. And that's what I'm using to hold the compressed air. To pressurize the tank, I'm using a bike pump and the output is connected to a ball valve. And the other end of the ball valve is connected to the steam engine. Here are all the 50 parts laid out for the steam engine and now we can start assembling it. There we go guys, that's our completed steam engine. All the parts are put in place and everything is nice and aligned. And now what we need to do is get some engine oil and put it all over where there's friction. So everything is nice and oiled up and now we can get our steam or in this case some compressed air and fit it in over here. And this is the input for the engine and uh, when you give it a twist, it will start running. So we have about 30 to 40 psi coming in from this tube and it's being stopped by this valve. And when I open the valve, it's going to send compressed air through the steam engine and the whole system should start working. So we can take our positions and now when I open the valve, a steam engine should start working. 3, 2, 1. There we go. You can see it's shaking the table. And now we are almost out of compressed air, so that's why it's slowing down. When the valve is placed here, the wheel will spin clockwise. And when it's placed back, it will spin anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. Let's see. So now the wheel will spin clockwise. It's the same how we saw it in the first run. And if we change the position like that, the wheel will spin counterclockwise. Let's see. Three, two, one. You can see it's going counterclockwise. There you go guys, that is the basic rundown of this steam engine and I really hope that you liked this video and if you did, hit like and subscribe to the Young Tech Scientist so that you don't miss out on any new video and also hit that notification bell next to it so that you are in the notification squad and you get notified when I upload a new video. 
Thank you so much for watching this video guys and as always I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you then. Bye.